everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about the top five coolest species that we used to have before the great extinction. Ever since we lost our bees, it's been a struggle to get fresh fruit and veggies in our diet. As you guys know, there are some limited robotic bees that they use in order to pollinate the crops for our politicians and our leaders, the people who can afford those fresh fruit, but the rest of us are stuck self-pollinating. You know, before climate change, here's a fun fact, bees used to actually be in sync with the weather and they knew when plants were going to flower because they knew based on the temperature. Isn't that cool? Like, I really wish I could have lived in a time where I could look outside and see bees just buzzing around my garden. So this one's a bit of a throwback to 2023. Did you guys actually know that there used to be orcas in the waters off of Washington? I know it's hard to believe. There was a lot of people who really, really fought to save them. Possibly a nightmare scenario come true for environmental advocates this morning and apparent oil spill in English Bay. The city of Vancouver has confirmed that this is uh, bunker fuel. In 2023, we had the Great English Bay oil spill, and that, coupled with the loss of salmon in the Puget Sound, was a tragic end to the story of the southern resident killer whale. I really wish I could just go back in time, try to just tell people that you can turn it around, but people weren't ready to listen. It's still cool to imagine what it would have been like to be on a boat and see an orca. I wish I could have seen that. Okay, you guys are really gonna like this one. There used to be wild dogs. Well, sort of. They were much, much bigger, and they used to roam wild all around the world. They actually called them wolves. Here's their extinction story. You know how our meat is grown in a lab now? So back in the day, we raised actual animals and ate them. But animals like wolves and cougars would eat the meat that we wanted to eat. Farmers needed that meat to sell, so they actually shot the wolves. Even the government helped and shot them too. Humans back then were so angry at wolves, they used to attach collars onto them that tracked them and followed them back to their dens, and then they would go and shoot every last wolf. The farmers needed even more land to raise more cows to feed even more people as our population increased. They burnt the remaining ancient growth forests in order to make room for profitable animals to graze. This left no land for the wolf. Roads, pipelines, and farms further fragmented that wolf habitat and pushed the wolves out. And the final nail in the coffin for the wolves was they were blamed for the extinction of the caribou in 2032 rather than the deforestation of the caribou's habitat. The government stepped in and exterminated the final wolf on December 14th, 2048. And now for the final two on the list of coolest species that went extinct before 2050. Next, we have the vaquita. So there was only 10 remaining in around 2019. The final 10 were tangled in fishing lines as bycatch, and unfortunately, the last one was killed in 2022. And the final species we're talking about today is the sea turtle. When human population increased, the demand for seafood increased. And unfortunately, this led to sea turtles being wrapped up more and more in fishing lines and consuming even more plastics that were in the ocean. Unfortunately, the final sea turtle was found dead off the coast of Maui on September 22nd, 2043. An autopsy was done on this final turtle, showing that his belly was full of plastic waste. Thank you guys for watching this video, and what extinct species do you guys want me to cover next? I could go through mountain gorillas, white rhinos, cougars, jaguars, elephants, 
giraffes, lions. Let me know in the comment section down below.